in Houston. This is our last weekend here for a while. We are finishing up on our house, getting the last little bits done before we have to, you know, hand over the keys to our renters. And you know what that means, cleaning out the refrigerator. But it is Friday, no, what is it? Saturday morning and my dad has taken one of the kids to go fishing. Randy took the other to go eat Waffle House. And I am getting alone time to go garage sailing. Let's get some air going, it's hot. So I've already, I saw a bunch of garage sale signs. We just got in yesterday. Yeah, I don't even know where I am half the days. Was it yesterday? Okay. So we got in yesterday you know, just wrapping things up, just working on wrapping things up. But I saw a lot of garage sale signs. And here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna drive over here. <clears throat> My husband said something in passing last night. And it got me thinking. And it got and I posted it just kind of jokingly. But then I had quite a few people comment and made me really think. My husband said he wants me to give up reselling. Not because he for whatever weird reason or and he's angry with me. He wants me to give up reselling because he says I work too hard. So, I don't know. At first I thought, whatever. But now like maybe, not that I need to stop reselling, but consider where he's coming from as I garage sale. There goes a black cat running in front of my car. I spent two dollars at this garage sale and I got two necklaces and two bracelets. Two dollars, fifty cents each. So, well, I just dropped that bomb right before I turned it off. Yeah, so my husband, again, just some, kind of in passing said, I kind of, I want you to stop reselling. But he didn't say it like, I'm serious, we need to have a serious sit down, you know. He just said, you work too hard. I want you to relax. And I think, I, I mean, I guess I need to sit down with him and talk to him a little more about it and see where he's coming from. Because I put, again, I posted it thinking, oh, you know, it's just kind of silly. Yeah, right, I would give up reselling. But then a lot of the comments were um, along that line, but then some were like, hey, if your loved ones are saying something, then it's important for you to listen and find out what they're, where they're coming from, whether if it's just an aside comment or if there's something deeper that, you know, that's just his way of saying. So I'm going to talk to him more about it and how we can find a happy medium because, oh, I wish I could remember who, who commented it, uh, but she said, you know, you're an you're an educator, which is true. I feel like I have, I'm driven to share. I'm driven to teach. And whether it be in this platform or another, it's a drive I've got. You know what I mean? So, is there a medium? Is there a place where, and I enjoy garage selling. I enjoy the treasure hunt. I love that. So is there a way that 
that I can still do that and incorporate that but then it's like the whole point of my channel was reselling basically I mean I know I did some merch I do some merch and I do some educational videos but trying to figure out I don't know and then I, I was watching a thing about intention and the power of intention and like what is your intention and where, you know, sitting down with the universe or your God and figuring out what is my purpose? Which may be a little too fruity for some of y'all, I don't know. But just like this morning, I, I just kept saying in my head, what is your purpose for me? Universe, God, you know, what is your purpose for me? What is your purpose? What is my purpose? What is my purpose? And like, okay, this may sound way out there, but all that kept coming back, the only, and whether this is just my self, subconscious, I, I'm such a skeptic, but enough, a skeptic with enough of like, maybe I should pay attention. So I just kept saying, what? What is my purpose? What is my purpose? What is my purpose? And the word, one word kept coming back. Love, 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 love. And honestly, like, I feel like I'm tearing up just telling y'all that. Like, it's, it felt so real, you know? I don't know how else to describe it. It felt so overwhelmingly powerful. Like, I don't know. So, that's really broad. <laughs> You know, so I'm going to need you to narrow that down for me, universe. God. <laughs> I'm going to need a little bit more focus on that. Or not. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so it's something I'm going to be thinking about. YouTube and the... I, I mean, I've said from the beginning, I, I started YouTube for community. I started YouTube for community, for, you know, yes, I share, I love sharing everything, oh, there's that garage sale, um, but I, you know, I didn't start it to make money, I didn't do it to fame and fortune, <laughs> whatever, um, it has changed me, it has empowered me, it has helped my self-esteem tremendously, um, but, Ultimately, I did it for connection, you know? That sense of, you're not alone in the universe. Are there two garage sales here? Oh, that would be nice. Okay, I think we're working with two garage sales here. Let's do it. All right, here we go. bracelet and they're in this of an arrow isn't that cool like so the earrings match now it is maybe 7 30 I got out pretty early what time is it so oh, it's 7 50 and it is crowded I think because lately there have not been as many garage sales and everybody's out in force today 
I mean, this one, I mean, there's at least 10 cars here, which is unusual. I mean, it's for this, maybe not. Maybe I'm welcome home. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to have to fight for it. of pretty cool costume jewelry um there were a couple pieces that I might even keep for myself and this really cool sea star magnifying like dome thing oh is it gonna jiggle around again are we doing this again phone yeah this really cool like sea star starfish and it has a dome for magnifying and it's this bronzy color well James has decided he wants his new room to be steampunk I could have seen this coming because he has always been into how things work and gears and you know I don't know okay if you've seen there's a scene in Harry Potter <laughs> couple a couple things Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets when the Chamber of Secret door opens and it's all like going this way and that way and the and things turning and then also when in the prisoner of Azkaban they lock the front door and it's just like gears and locks and all these different things happening um, springs and wires and gears and and everything the first time we saw that he asked me to rewind it and then he said like a heavy deep sigh like so satisfying because just watch that all day <laughs> I was like oh <sighs> I could just watch that all day he says so he is wanting to do steampunk now so and his thing is like he's nervous about making stuff he's the kind of kid he is is if he does you know he's worried about not getting it right the first time so I'm like we can make stuff he's like but I won't make it right like, well, no, you won't. Not at, not at first. No. So we'll get stuff to practice on. You know, it's no, but like, no big deal. Nobody gets it right the first time. Whatever. You know, and I want, like, that, he needs to get that. Like, nobody gets it right the first time. Whatever. No, you, so when he says I won't get it right, I'm like, no, you're right. Nope. First time, you won't do it perfectly. I don't know. Does that mean? I don't know. I feel like it's realistic. <laughs> then, then, rather than saying, oh, baby. You're gonna do it just perfect. It's gonna be just perfect for you. Yes, it will. You can do it just perfect. However you do, that's perfect. But for him, he knows that's, you know, he would know that would be insincere. Cause he would look at it and know that's not right. <laughs> and mommy said, no. So anyway, I, Starfish. Um, we were looking at pictures of steampunk rooms and one of them was sort of an aquatic underwater submarine style with the old like um, diving helmets and stuff and port portals and things like that so if he decides to go in that direction you know or if we could get where did we see one I feel like we saw one at one point it was like a taxidermy puffer fish you know like and it was all glazed I don't know how you know, lacquered or something where did we or maybe I just saw it online or somewhere I don't know but I was like you know having stuff like that I don't know that weird I don't know anyway I got that and I got some some jewelry I know there was a, a cool Napier brooch in there so I'm so excited to go home 
and whip out my Napier book <laughs> and see if it's, uh, you know, try to match it up, find out where it comes from. I'm excited about that. <sighs> I got my coffee. Um, so I don't really need to do a whole, whole lot more. Um, but it's early yet. It's 830. I'm going to drive around some more. My dad, again, gosh, this I, this is the reason that my tank tops and my bra, just, just like that. Anyway, my dad took my eldest fishing today. He took James fishing. Because <sighs> they don't, you know, that's one of the things that James is really going to miss from being here. Is that he is not getting to go fishing with granddad. Granddad likes to fish a lot. And James is, you know, he loves it. So I'm really going to have to step up my fishing game when we move to Austin. Now, the plus, we were talking about the houses, right? The house that I'm looking at is in like a planned neighborhood deal, and it's really planned. So, I mean, the perks of that are good, but then the downfalls are like, forget chickens, yo. We're not having chickens in this neighborhood. But the neighborhood has fishing ponds, like designated places that are, they're fishing ponds. So I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. So you're going to give up chickens for a fishing pond. Now, also, we're going to be going to this home, this the homeschool thing where there are lots of different homeschool organizations and people that do stuff with homeschoolers are going to be there. Kind of like a, almost like a job fair, but not a job fair, like a homeschool fair sort of thing. And... One of the things there is going to be 4-H, homeschool 4-H. So I may find out about that because then maybe he could do chickens or something through that. Because he really, you know, he loves, he loves chickens. I don't know. <laughs> he loves chickens. What are you going to do? Whenever we, whenever there's a petting zoo and they bring those fluffy chickens, he just sits, he'll get one of those chickens, he'll sit, put that chicken on his lap and he just pets that chicken. <laughs> I've got pictures of him from every time since he was little. They would get like the petting suit to go to his little children's center where he went. <clears throat> and every time there's there's pictures with him. I think one of them he's got like a little piglet on his lap, but most most of them chickens. And then he's hoping my sister will get chickens out there. She is because then he can come pet her chickens. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll see. Thank you.